welcome back to another cut above with Chris and today I'm going to be doing a shave with a cream that I hadn't actually heard about until I did a tray with one of my mates that I met through one of the shaving forums over here and we keep in pretty constant touch now and this well this cream is a premium cream it's quite expensive over here it will last a long time it's a very lightly scented cream and that cream is Occam's you probably know that because it'll probably be in the description and the picture so I don't know why I was sort of hiding it there yeah Occam's original shave cream this stuff smells I got a very light hint of cinnamon and I mean very 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 light and I'm not even sure if there's cinnamon in there but that's what I get a sort of earthy uh, creamy cinnamon and uh, that's about it and it's so light that you've really got to get a smell from it the soap texture is pretty much like that and the ingredient list is, is a very clean ingredients list. You have stearic acid, water, glycerin, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, castor oil, French green clay, pure essential oils. The only one here I think that's not too great is this one, phenoxyethanol. But I, I'm, I need to actually look these things up sometimes. I can't imagine that being a super bad, bad ingredient, but when you start getting words that are longer than 10, 15 letters, you've got to start worrying. And the other one is caprolil. Glycol. So I've done a lather review on this. If you watch the lather review, you know this stuff lathers incredibly well. I think I did a bowl lather from memory, and that is what I'm going to do today using the Sapona Feature Shaving Grail Bowl. Now the brush is soaking away in my little peel traffic patrol cup. It's got the Wiley Coyote there and the police car. Little, I've got lots of little mementos and little things to sort of remind me of the place as much as I don't want to remember it too much because it put that much shit on my life and uh, my family life. Uh, it was still an experience, something I wanted to do, something I'm glad I did. Right, so I've got that soaking. I have not had it soaking for long. So I've just uh, squeezed out the excess moisture. I'm just going to grab a, as you can see how soft that is. I'm going to grab a good dollop of that, that's, that's probably enough for 60 shaves. And I'm just going to rub it on the inside of my bowl. I've just been on, I haven't been on Facebook this morning, I just had a quick look on this morning. I always check first thing in the morning because I normally reply to my comments and things on YouTube in the morning which I'm still doing at the moment because I'm still not getting a lot of comments like uh, what Paul Leach films or anyone would get I'm starting to get a few emails through now which is nice emails are actually a little bit easier for me because they come oh, they come direct to my phone uh, I don't have to mess about with them they're a little bit easier to sort of message with rather than going into different apps and stuff through YouTube right so I've squeezed the water out and I'm just going to go straight into the bowl and just see if we can get something going straight away Yes, yeah, so let us see. There was a comment on there this morning. It seems to be a very common theme, a recurring question that comes up. Uh, one of the guys on there was saying about shaving. He's been shaving for years and getting lots of ingrown hairs and problems on his neck and sensitivity when he used cartridge razors, which is fair enough, brilliant. But he has actually tried before. The scent of this actually comes out a little bit. It's, it's actually. A, still can't put my finger on what the scent is. A little bit of citrus in there as well, I think. So as you can see, it's sort of creaming up a bit, but I'm just going to dip the tips. That was a good, a really good dip. So that'll, that'll give it a good bit of moisture and then get it whipping up. So yeah, one of the questions that seems to crop up all the time that I notice on Facebook, I notice it pretty much in forums everywhere, on live videos, is the... I get a lot of sensitivity on my neck and I've tried this raise and tried that raise. Now this fella's tried the Merca 34C. To me, the Merca 34C is a, is a sort of medium aggressive razor to me when compared to Gillette uh, Vintage and things like that. So uh, trying to get some sort of grading on it. And everyone's different. I've had people say that they reckon it's super mild and it's not medium at all. So, which is why I love this this hobby. But just in reply to those sort of questions from, from my point of view, I did struggle in the beginning with lots of sensitivity on my neck. I used to get it from cartridge razors as well. Still, I still get ingrown hairs. As you can see, I've got some redness on my neck. It looks way worse on the camera. In the mirror, it's not that bad. It's not even that noticeable. But I don't have any ingrown hairs anymore. I've managed to pluck them all out. I've shaved probably, well, I've shaved the last five or six days in a row. 
and I haven't had a single ingrown here. And I know I'm using less efficient razors now, I'm getting better with the light touch. But my advice to anyone out there that does struggle with ingrown hairs on the neck and sensitivity on the neck or anywhere on the face is to get an efficient razor. And I, I'll, I'll say it till the cows come home. It is, in my opinion, one of the key factors in getting a less uh, a less irritated shave. If you want to get a great shave, a great smooth shave without getting any irritation or, or little irritation, this is let's say this is just my my point of view on it because I do suffer from that. I suffer from sensitive skin. I suffer from ingrown hairs quite frequently. Not quite as frequently as I used to, but I still get them. And I think at the end of the day, if you're going to be going against the grain and you're going to try and chase the dragon, you're going to get them no matter what. Now I'm just working this ladder a little bit longer than normal because it is a little bit, it looks just a little bit airy. But we'll see. And as you can see there, lovely peaks. But you get this, it's just a little bit airy. I think I actually dropped a little bit too much water in it when I dipped the brush in. I dropped a ton of water in the bowl. So it's, it's dealt with that amount of water very, very well. And as you can see, the bowl is full. The brush is absolutely chockers. And let's just see how we go. Um, yeah, and just on another side note, this lovely package here, which was actually previously a Crown King package of mine, is absolutely chockers full and it is heading over to Texas, over to Ken Lee, who I'll use his words, my good brother from America, the brother from another mother. Um, so I'm going to send that over to him. There's a few really nice goodies in there and it's a Pretty much, other than some blades that are in there that I've not told them what they are, but they're in there, everything in there is British and Australian. So things that are pretty difficult to get in America. And there's a little box over heading my way. I don't know when, whenever King gets a bit of time to pop down the post office. And if you're watching this, mate, there's no rush. I don't I don't stress with people over postage, you know. But life's sometimes getting in the way of getting to the post office and doing, doing the simple things. So. I completely understand mate, there's no rush to get anything posted and that's my philosophy on it. I'm never going to send people nasty emails because they haven't posted anything. And that goes for anyone. It's just, it's just a waste of time and it's a, a stress that no one needs. Right, with the face. So as you can tell, my shit talking skills have went through the roof over the past few saves. Sh saves? Few shaves. This is, this is the first time I've used this <laughs> mother wolf whiskers. Oh, sorry. I'm using the wolf whiskers. I, I don't think I said anything. This is the Tyrian shaped handle with the iron throne colours. So it's black, red with a, a pearlescent glittery silver. And as you can see, the wolf whiskers upside down. See, wolf whiskers, man made. Now, this is a very lightly scented cream. Feels very luxurious in the brush, feels beautiful on the face. And the scent, albeit very, very light, and it does say that on the website, it's a light scent. You're buying this cream for the performance, in my opinion. I didn't buy it, I, I got it in a trade. And I'm very glad I did because it's, I like to sort of try all this stuff from your own country. I know, technically, it's not my own country, I was born in Scotland, born and raised, born and bred. But Australia is now my home. Whether it will be my home for life, I'm not quite sure, believe it or not. Between Australia and Canada, that is the only two countries I ever thought about moving to. Canada's like my, it's pretty much my second home when I lived in Scotland. I absolutely love Canada. It's where I learned to play ice hockey, where I learned to ice skate, where I first sort of got into golf. I've got a lot of family over there in Seaforth, Ontario. And I absolutely, I just love it. I love the cold, I've always loved the cold. Even when it was minus sort of 10, 15, 20 in Scotland on those days, I was a t-shirt and jeans man, never wore a jumper or jacket. I just love the cold. So Canada's spot on for me. And there's nothing better than being able to make an ice rink in your back garden. Right, the Murgress. This one's for you, Brown Man Chaves. I'll, uh, I'll make this as painless as possible by keeping it off camera as long as possible. Uh, I've got a lattice blade in there, second use, same blade I used last time, I've just cleaned it off and popped it back in again. 
and let's see how we go with this creamer. Looking forward to this. From what I hear, this cream is extremely slick, and very protective. And so far I can only agree. I know I've only just started, but that feels very, very nice. It rinses, rinses pretty well in the water. To say there's a lot of oils in there, olive oils and... I remember reading another oil, uh, coconut oil. But these oils, the coconut oils and the olive oils... Sorry, I meant to say I've got this in setting three. Coconut oils and olive oils. The, Tremendous for your skin and not just on the inside uh, not on the outside, but on the inside as well So I use all my cooking is done in coconut oil. It's all I use. I don't use any other oil for cooking uh, Making anything at all. It's always coconut oil uh, It's got a very high absorption rate. It's, it's absolutely brilliant for your internals and your externals And it's a natural uh, whole food. Or, uh, well, it's not a food. It's an oil, but it is a whole food It is it's pressed straight from the straight from the coconut. There's nothing done to it Nothing flash about it, it's just straight out of the stuff in it. And not only that, I just love coconut. It's one of my favourite scents, coconut in anything. And all I drink, generally, I've got, a few guys out there don't know, I love a paleo lifestyle, paleo. So it's, we don't have grains, we don't eat dairy, uh, we don't have any refined sugars. All my coffees are made with organic coconut milks. I don't eat any cereals at all, none. Unless it's pretty much seeds. <laughs> That's about it. Don't eat legumes, which for those of you out there, that's your sort of beans and uh, peas, anything that's sort of in a pod. No grains at all. I'm slowly, slowly getting rid of this, thank Christ. Right. Residual slickness after the first pass is pretty good. I'm just going to go back to the bowl because I've got loads of cream in here, loads of lather. As you can see, look at the gloss on that. Beautiful. And the lather is tremendous, it really is. And this is very well suited for people with sensitive skin from what I hear. Because of the ingredients listed, and it's very, such slightly scented, it's all natural essential oils that sense it. So you're not worrying about fragrance oils. Well, that's either someone at the door or someone trying to break into the house. Or the dogs are just going nuts for no apparent reason. Right, well, there you go again. Second ladder, absolutely phenomenal. I'm getting no irritation, nothing at all from the cream, which is nice, which I, I didn't expect to get anything anyway. Very, very nice blades, these lattice blades. I, I mean, that, I don't know if there's someone coming in the house or not. Could be my in laws. Very, very smooth blade. I would say it's not a super sharp blade, it's a. It's more of a, just a smooth blade, in my opinion. Very sort of along the lines of the Astra Superior Plan, which. I have not tried for quite some time now. It's probably
possibly a blade that I need to get back out again. Just give it another go because it was, I think, it was the first blade I used. And I really enjoy it. I've actually been revisiting not lots of them, but some of my old videos just to see how far I've come and it's quite, it's actually quite funny to watch because you do sort of it's like coming through life yet you sort of mature into your channel you start off as a sort of shy child unknown what's going on and just sort of trying to do your best trying to make a good go of it and a good effort of it and you sort of uh, you just sort of work into it and becoming you, you start enjoying it and I think um, a brown guy shaves actually sent my message saying he's he's already got the bug for buying stuff from his channel uh, brown man shaves and if you haven't checked his channel go and have a look at it he's, he's actually in my own personal opinion it looks like he's been doing it for years he's so relaxed in front of the camera I don't know what he does for work <laughs> but he's, he's just got that sort of nothing phases him, look about him, which is nice and I think it he's the sort of guy that a, a beginner shaver would actually quite enjoy watching because he's he's very new to himself as I am, he's about he's a couple of months less into traditional wet shaving as I am but he's uh, he comes across as if he's been doing it for a very long time and he's a, he's a very efficient shaver, does a good job Right, residual slickness. Really, really good stuff. And as you can see, I'm going up for my third pass now. The bowl's still chockers and the brush is absolutely yeah, caked. So. I love this brush, I love it. One of my badger brushes is heading on its way out the door today as well in the post office and part of a trade for a few salts and some blades. My, in fact, it was, I think it was the first brush that I ever bought. The Wow Silver Tip Badger. But because I've sort of turned to synthetic now, I've got this two band finest in my hands by Wolf Whiskers. I've got my Simog. 8.30 bore and my Samog Owners Club bore I really don't think my wow would have got much use and synthetic's the way forward for me and I think eventually I know badge is a very popular thing but once these badger guys start trying some of these superb synthetics I think a lot of people are going to start moving over to th synthetic in my opinion we might even see Buster breaking out more synthetics than badges one day or is that just wish, wishful thinking? But I have noticed uh, Ken Lee, who the pass was going out today, KHL was the second sh shaving, wet shaving and BSing, I think it is. I can never get you know, he got the longest, weirdest fucking name on the, on the planet, mate. But he's a. Uh, very similar to myself, very rarely use his badges, so both. Don't get me wrong, a synthetic never feels like a, a real natural hairbrush, never does. And the Simog Owners Club, as much as I love this two band finest, the Simog Owners Club, excuse me, Simog Owners Club is by far out of my natural hair brushes, the softest and, and this brush, is the brush I'm using now has got hook tips and gel tips and it's beautiful and soft and it's got loads, but the only thing of this is it's got a lot of backbone and quite a bit of scrub as well which is nice, I do like that it's not scritchy at all it's a very 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 comfortable brush to use, there's no irritation with it, it doesn't scratch your skin or anything like that. 
Tell you what, this cream is beautiful, and I'm getting a lot. Every shave I do at the moment, it doesn't matter what soap I'm using, what cream I'm using, even if it's a. I'm not really using poor quality stuff anymore, if I'm honest, it's very rare I come across it. I've sort of went through all that stuff in my early days, and I will come across stuff again that's not great. Because as part of this sort of style of shaving, I suppose, with regards to doing YouTube channel, a lot of this to me is about trying everything. And I get great enjoyment out of using new products, things that maybe never been used before, things that have just come on the market, if I can get older than no one else has tried. Uh, hardware doesn't bother me so much. My hardware is actually, I'm quite happy with what I've got just now. I wouldn't really change much. The only thing I'd put in there would be a Wolfman, uh, possibly a charcoal or uh, timeless, something like that. But... Jesus, 21 minutes. What are you playing at, man? Yeah, the slickness is getting better and better, the residual slickness. Right, why not? Let's just scoop all this out. That's the bowl, pretty much scooped dry. A little bit on there. And look at that. It's just beautiful. Highly, highly recommend it. It's not cheap. It's pretty expensive. Ken, I was actually going to send this to you today, but because I was going to shave with it, I just wanted to pack your parcel up, and I could, I should really have left it and popped it in. But I have popped in a, another little Aussie treat for you. And there's also a little non shearing related item in the box as well, mate. So hopefully. You might not use it, you might use it. You can probably get them up and get it over in America. So, as you guys know, my channel started off with a three pass shave and that continued for pretty much seven, eight months, right up till about two weeks ago where I was starting to enjoy shaving that much, I'm starting to do a four pass, so this is a fourth pass, which doesn't really need to be done, but I do them anyway because I really enjoy it and yeah, it adds a few minutes on and me talking shit adds a few minutes on as well. Kyle, sorry mate, I can't, I've got to do four passes with this razor um, and then some pickups after it, so uh, I don't know what to do mate. So it's really difficult to put it down. What you should do is get your wife to get you the dual one for your anniversary. Don't get me wrong, these, you guys out there, you know you know yourself if you look for one of these or you found them, I think it's Bull Goose, Bull Goose Shaving, I think it is, I can't bloody remember now, Duck Goose, Bull Duck, I can't, can't remember, <laughs> that's, that's terrible, um, Ken's actually got a, in his box here, I've actually popped in a, a voucher that was sent out with this. They sent me out a 20% 20, 20 discount voucher. I'm telling Ken everything that's in this box. It's not really a surprise, is it, mate, when I tell everyone, but uh, there's a 20% discount voucher for Bull Goose Shaving. So you never know, mate, if you ever fancy getting hold of one of these beautiful mirror grasses, you can get 20% off it. Which would bring it down to about 100 bucks instead of 125 for this, this exact model. Depending on whether you want to get the bling bling one, mate, the bling one, which I almost bought, which is $145, I think. 
But, um, yeah. I don't know if bling suits me. <laughs> Residual slickness. I've got loads of soap that I can use. Just giving you guys a bit of an idea. Of what that slickness is like, it's beautiful. And once again, I'm getting closer and closer every time I'm starting to do a little bit more against the grain. And it's uh, I get to give me a bit of shave now and I'm not getting any irritation afterwards. I get a little bit when I'm doing it, but I've always had just a slight tinge of irritation when I shave. Not, not an irritation that I would really say it's an irritation, but just enough that I can feel it. But at the end of the day, you put a blade on your skin, so you're going to feel something most times. The one thing I love about that wolf whisk is this, it really releases the ladder. Because it's not a ladder hog at all. I don't think I'm always sort of searching for it, having to squeeze it out. Just, I'm just washing this out so you guys can see, but you can actually see the, the gel tips. Which are also hook tips, but it's uh, I love how, I do love how those brushes just sort of are so upset, it's brilliant. Right. Beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Thea's original. It's a lovely burn from that, so you do it's a really nice burn, just as it's helping to try and close up the pores and and sort of heal the skin a little bit after the shave, but I mean I've got a little it looks a little bit redder over here. The funny thing is, the camera makes me look terrible in terms of actual redness on my face, but when I look in the mirror, there's not much there. And I don't think this helps, because I get that one of my viewers, William, uh, he'll actually, he did say that my, when I did that last shave during the sort of night, I was, I was looking very red, and obviously the reflection of this, bouncing off the white walls and off the mirror, would be glowing my face red as well. I've actually got my United shirt on, this is an older one. I've got this on because we're playing Chelsea at 3.45 in the morning over here. T tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, and I hope we get something out of it, but um, I'm not feeling too confident. Even though we're on a good run and we've done all right, we haven't played the best of football, and until Pogba settles and starts playing the game I know he can play, I think we're going to struggle, and I think Chelsea will, well, I think Chelsea are going to dominate tonight. And without, without Zlatan, it's a, it's a big, big loss, but sometimes you chuck the young boys in on these occasions and it is the FA Cup, so chucking in Jesse Lingard in there normally gets you a goal. Rashford as well, they seem to score in these competitions, but Lingard just loves it. So hopefully we get something out of it. Even if we can get a draw, I, I would be happy with that. Right, next up. This stuff. Shave works a cool fix. 2016 post shave balm the year post shave moisturiser it's actually geared for women believe it or not it's geared for women for shaving their legs to stop them it's very light very very light tingle here and there but nothing made you a little bit of a sting this stuff if you put this on straight after a shave because I've used the Thea's hit the Thea's sort of gets rid of the first stage of sting but if you put that straight on and you haven't had a good shave it really lets you know but then it eases off and gives a lovely post shave feel it's got a beautiful scent it's a, a, a struggle with it to begin with because I couldn't put my, get my head around it wasn't a very nice scent and the more I use it the nicer it becomes and it leaves a beautiful post shave feel and sadly enough it's one of my favourite colours that Man City colours oh. <laughs> as, is, as is that Mersol Blue, Agua de Colonia, or Eau de Cologne, and 
I'm just using nice light scented stuff today. This actually lasts quite a long time on your skin. The scent, it lasted hours when I put it on last time. Massive bottle, so it lasts me a long time. Yeah, good splash of that. And the burn from this is absolutely lovely. So it's burning, burning, burning. Here it comes, here it comes. Then it starts warming up. Then it's then it starts cooling down. It's a, a really strange sensation. Very welcome sensation because I love the cooling. And it's that the heat's sort of dissipating now, and the cooling sensation is coming back. And then you get that beautiful light, powdery, sweet sort of says. It is very very nice. I can't put a finger on what the scent is, I couldn't honestly tell you. I've read online that it's, it is actually a sort of European barbershop scent, but it's very nice and it, and it works great. And the post shave feel with everything after that is just tremendous. And I put my aftershave on last, especially if it's a cologne, just to keep the scent on the top rather than covering it up with this cream. Um, I just find if you put it on first to, to close all the pores and then put a cream on after, the cream absorbs it to your skin, so that to me is absorbing whatever's on your face and pulling it into your, into your skin. And I don't really like the idea of pulling alcohol and things into my skin. Uh, so, so there we go, guys. That's shave done. I do have an Allen block out, but I didn't use it because I didn't think I needed it. I had a lovely shave there. I will be doing a head shave today, but I'll probably do that later on. I'm not going to do that straight away. And other than that, guys, take care, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.